Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to venture into some very magical woodland that's close to my home. Uh, you may have heard it of it before, it's called Wisman's Wood. And at the end of the video I'm going to include a gallery um, of my images of the edited and the raw versions for comparison. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've been greeted by glorious light on Dartmoor and I've just started this short hike to Wisman's Wood where hopefully I'm going to get some pictures. Now it's a location I've only been to once before earlier in the year and I took these photos. The following two photographs were taken way back in February when there was a lot less foliage in the trees but it was still stunning. And as I say, the light is glorious, so I better crack on and start walking to the woods. Now I made a plan for today. Um, not sure if it's going to come to fruition. I've got a couple of shots in mind, but the light is um, way better than I was expected. So I'm going to probably make a B plan. But anyway, a plan is a good thing to have. Uh, a backup plan is even better. It's a 30 minute walk or so to Wisman's Wood from the car park and it's a very enjoyable scenic route, especially when the weather is like this. Apart from some locals, I had the path to myself this morning. Well that's Wisman's Wood, over there in the distance in the valley, uh, probably about 10 minutes away, so I've got to carry on walking. Wisman's Wood is a very fragile environment. There's a number of signs around telling you what you can and can't do in the terms of access. From a distance the woods do look quite insignificant, but when you get close up they look absolutely magical and stunning. Well, I've just made it to Wisman's Wood behind me over some very uneven ground, um, almost broke my leg in places. Um, now trouble with Wisman's Wood at the moment is that uh, there's a big sign saying you can't actually go through the woods, you have to go around it, which I'm going to do, uh, but it means I probably won't get the shots I would like. Um, I'm going to probably go to my 200mm and shoot from outside and see what I get. And if I like what I'm getting, I'm going to switch over to a tripod and with the 200mm and take it from there. So anyway, I've been a bit lucky with the lighting now. Uh, the sun's gone in and all the harsh shadows have gone from the woods. So I've got my first shot lined up on the 200mm on the tripod. I'll show you on the back of the screen. Now I'm going to focus stack it um, just to make sure everything is in detail. And if the photo's any good, it's coming up right about now. Okay, I'm going to try and move on and see if I can find anything else. Well, I walked on a few more yards from the previous picture and, and got this composition on the back of the camera. Again, it's a 200 millimeter and uh, here's the picture. Yeah, I've moved on a bit. I'm going to take this photo with uh, my Helios uh, 44 which is actually a 58 mil lens. It's an old uh, Russian vintage lens. Now hopefully it should be um, nice and soft around the edges because it is an old vintage lens and I'm shooting wide open at f2. So anyway, any good picture coming up now. Unfortunately for me the sun has come up a bit too high now and there's a lot of sun in the woods creating harsh shadows. Now it looks absolutely stunning um, but my photos aren't looking that great so I'm going to move on a bit more see if I can find some more shaded woods uh, over that way so yeah let's walk on. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, the weather became very changeable, but I did bag this picture of the lone tree in the sun just before the rain. Okay, so I'm going to call it a day here. Uh, the weather's starting to turn. It's just started to rain and I don't want to get caught in it. I'm going to go back to the office to look at the pictures. Hopefully they're good. You've probably already seen them on the screen, but at the end of the video, I'm going to put a, a gallery up like I did in the last video. I had a great day's photography at the woods. Um, I've had a chance now to look at the pictures on the computer and generally I like them. Uh, I think there's going to, improvements can be made if I'm being critical. Um, I don't think there was strong enough subject matter um, and it was a bit chaotic the scenes I photographed um, but I'll know that for next time. Well I hope you enjoyed that video. I've got more videos coming up shortly. Um, as promised here comes the gallery of the raw and the final images. Anyway until next time see you later.